So a question I'm often asked by growers is, um, where do these fungi come from? Haven't we already got them in the soil? Um, around those sorts of things. And it's, it's a really good question. It's very interesting um, from our perspective of, of how this comes about to, to have a carbon inoculum in a bag. Um, obviously it doesn't just appear in the bag. Um, the interesting part of the project, uh, the process rather, is um, the way we actually go out and find these organisms. So we often go out to really extreme climates, so out into the desert climes and um, you know, really arid regions, um, extreme uh, climate regions and uh, poor soil fertility regions and things like that. And we're looking for plants that um, are doing better than what they should be in those uh, environments. And more often than not, they will have a, a relationship with a fungus that's helping them uh, survive those harsh conditions. Uh, so we take those, uh, those fungi uh, from those plants that are basically through nature selected, um, been selected for their ability to help plants um, handle hard conditions and make the plants grow more by accessing nutrients out of the soil. So if you're a, a desert plant growing there and there's not much water and there's not much nutrients and a fungus comes along and says, I'll give you a, a hand if you can help me, um, the plant gives the fungus a bit of sugar and the fungus goes out there and finds nutrients and finds water for the, for the plant and helps it to survive. We can take those characteristics and bring them into our cropping situations and purposefully inoculate them onto our crops. We find the, the, the right fungi for the right plant, so there's a lot of matching going on to make sure that they're, they're matched up um, and that they're doing the job that we want them to do. But we often find we can get a, a really marked improvement in crop performance uh, by putting these fungi um, on, on our cropping plants. Um, and then in particular, we're selecting the fungi that produce a certain compounds uh, that uh, turn up as organic uh, carbon in the soil. So the fungi are utilising the carbon uh, flow from the plant and rather than that carbon leaking out into the soil through root exudates and, and, and roots um, and breaking down and turning back into carbon dioxide um, in what is the, the normal carbon cycle, when the fungi uh, are, are um, put into that system they, they act as an intermediary with that carbon flow and they trap some of that carbon in the soil. Um, in quite large quantities and it's that bit that we're really interested in. Obviously making the plant grow better means that the plant's going to make more carbon so it can access more water and nutrients to actually grow bigger roots. So we've got more carbon being deposited in the soil and if those same fungi can convert that extra carbon into more stable carbon um, then we have a system for increased plant performance and increased carbon sequestration so that's two very big ticks in two very big boxes um, for, for agriculture.